Welcome back, everybody. So today we're going to do a little bit of cleanup. Um, one thing I did, which I did in, uh, <laughs> I did a recording just before this, and and it got got botched. So um, I got rid of the blog page from the uh, list of pages in the page table or pages table. So if you guys want to do that, you can just find the blog page and click on delete here and that will get rid of that page because we don't need it anymore we have the blog table handling the blog page but I wanted to make note of that so that people didn't see something different because if we click on pages here now we don't see the blog page anymore okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at adding new blog entries and also pages but we'll start with blogs and then we can pretty much do a bunch of copying and pasting and, and, and swapping some things out and, and use the same code for the pages so if you go to content or the content folder and open up blog.php the first thing I want to do is we're gonna add another list item to this list here so on line 9 we're gonna make a list item and then a link tag and we'll just keep it nothing for now and we're gonna call this add post so this will be a link at the top of the page here that'll say add post. Let's even put a fancy plus sign here. And go ahead and save that and upload it. Fresh, and there you go, there's your add post link. Now let's go ahead and take this here, copy it, so page equals blog, and let's do and, let's just call it mode equals add, and we'll, we'll get to that here in a minute, but now we have that link there. Now another thing we want to do is go ahead and let's take this closing curly bracket here on line 88 cut it out and let's put it here and what this will do is if there's an ID sent through the URL then it's gonna load the blog that we clicked on and subsequently it'll go through and populate this form here if there isn't well then all these items here will be empty because these don't exist now if you don't have error reporting turned off uh, then you're going to get an error that opened the open variable does not exist uh, so keep that in mind so if we save this and upload it refresh the page and there so we're still getting you know the first post loaded but if we click on add post we're going to get a blank form here so now what we can do is we can we're gonna adjust this query and we're gonna do I'm gonna do it one way and then later on we'll we'll change it up and make it a little simpler um, the query itself will get a little more detailed and complicated but we will be simplifying it the first way I'm gonna show you is gonna be the long way to do it um, both both are acceptable but you can save some time with the second way. But this, I want to show you how to do it in a way that's going to make more sense first. So here we go. Let's make another query here. Q equals and semicolon insert into blog and the insert query is done a little different than the update query instead we have two sets of parentheses we have the first set it's going to be the list of fields and then we type in values and the second set is going to be the values so list out our fields here
and then we need to match these up so this is going to be let's go ahead and copy this from here this will be post title and this will be post date put a space there just make it look nicer and this will be post body so you need to make sure that title title date date body body so now what we need to do is do a conditional here because if we do this we'll run it'll run the second query because it'll be rewriting it so even though we set it on 40 on 42 it'll rewrite it to be an update so we need to do if get mode is equal to add and then close that else If get mode is equal to add, then run the insert query. Else, run the update query. Now, neither of these will run unless post under or the post uh, submitted is true or is set to one. So let's save this and upload it. Refresh the page. Now let's try this out. So blog title. date empty so it automatically uses the current timestamp and save changes and it didn't run so let's figure out why I know why. If we clicked on add post here, mode is add. However, in our form action, we just have page equals blog. So let's do something different here. There's a couple different ways we could combat this. Let's let's uh let's abandon this whole mode equals add. And instead, let's change this to ID and leave this empty. So if the ID sent through the URL is nothing or empty, then run insert. If it's not, then run an update. So let's try that again. So we'll add a post. And we'll do two exclamation points because we want it to work. Save. Okay, it worked. However, we noticed that when I hit save, it did not refresh or reload the uh, links on the left. And this is a simple fix. The reason is we're loading the list of blog entries first before we run this insert query. So let's just take this chunk of code here from 37 to 47 or from if to the closing and cut that and then come up here and we'll run this first when the page loads
Let's save that. Now let's make sure that uh, our update has not changed. So let's do exclamation point, add a third one there, save changes, and there it's saved. So that's good. We didn't screw up our update. We now have an insert when you click on add. And now we can go back to Dreamweaver and And just take this out. Save. Now when we go to blog, we get the empty form also. So technically this is the add post page here when you just when you just click on blog. So let's just do one more thing here. Do an else on the if is set ID and let's do this. Let's put an H1 tag here and put the closing portion of it after this block of PHP. Now this may not work further down the line, but for now this will work. And let's just echo. Say editing opened title. So we just wrote editing and then concatenated and we're going to put the title there. So now if you're editing a post, it will show a uh, heading at the top that says editing and then the post title. And then if we aren't editing, we can simply put in add a new and close that. Save and upload. So add a new blog post. Editing my first post, editing my first post, editing second, <laughs> second blog post. So there you go. Now we can add and edit blog posts. Now on the next video, I'll show you the more difficult, I would say, not necessarily difficult, but the, uh, the other way to do this. We're going to incorporate the insert and the update into one query, and then we'll go ahead and use that on the pages page.